Item number, SCP-3312. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Foundation web crawlers must monitor all forms of social media for any signs of SCP-3312, including video sharing platforms, cloud databases, and chat forums. Links, URLs, and advertisements relating to SCP-3312 are to be neutralized via RR-113 protocols. All leads to ATF are to be logged for future reference. Individuals affected by SCP-3312 are to be administered Class B amnestics under the condition that they are Stage 3 or prior. Individuals in Stages 4 and 5 are to be administered Class A amnestics. Predatory individuals in Stage 6 are to be contained at Site 990. Any individuals experiencing undiscovered stages following Stage 6 are to be apprehended and brought to Site 990 for testing. Description SCP-3312 is a mimetic agent that exists under the false identity of a fan website and induces a compulsion in humans to consume products, media, and content relating to various fan bases detailed below. SCP-3312 is known to have originated from the amateur entrepreneurial group Accelerate the Future, henceforth referred to as ATF. See Record Log 816 and Preceding Logs. ATF's current interests have become involved with the anthropomorphic animal enthusiast community, more commonly referred to as the furry fandom. Previous interests affected by the mimetic agent include brand comic books, animated shows produced by and redacted. As of 7 5 20 SCP-3312 has adapted to become an infohazard styled as a furry community-centric website. Content from the website has a mimetic effect identical to the site itself. The current form of SCP-3312 affects an individual in six stages and may only affect individuals with no prior involvement in the furry community. It should be noted that SCP-3312 evolves from a compulsive mimetic to a mind-affecting agent past Stage 4. Stage 1. Upon being exposed to SCP-3312, Affected individuals will display a peaked interest in anthropomorphic characters in mainstream media, including but not limited to brand mascots, animated cartoons and games, and serial box art. Compulsive effects of SCP-3312 are relatively mild during this stage, and SCP-3312 has been reversed with no side effects in 82% of Stage 1 cases. The first individuals found to be affected by Stage 1 were discovered on 8 11 Shortly after, Foundation web crawlers uncovered the recorded log history of a chat room utilized by ATF. Record Log 816 The conversations within Record Log 816 are assumed to have occurred five days following the initial creation of SCP-3312. Ollie Fox I sold 18 shirts today. Ollie Fox The ones with Ollie on them. M. Perry Weird how we have to literally mind control people to buy shirts with your eye bleed fox Sona on it. Dylan 99. Don't be a dickhole, Perry. M. Perry. Honestly, I was having no trouble with commissions before this. Dylan 99. That's not even the point of this. Dylan 99. You know he doesn't have any friends. Dylan 99. He's a furry. Snack attack. We're all furries. Dylan 99. Literally, only Ollie is actually a furry. Snack attack. <laughs> you right. I'm not touching that junk with a 10 foot pole. Ollie Fox. But I thought Perry was a furry? M. Perry. No. But they'll drop thousands of dollars on anything even remotely, uh. M. Perry. Foxy. Ollie Fox. <laughs> LOL. Thoticus Prime. That was astoundingly bad. M. Perry. <sighs> Can't deny it. Thoticus Prime. Hasn't one of your guys already bought like six fursuits? Ollie Fox. Not from me. I think that was from someone else. Ollie Fox. Why? Thoticus Prime. I don't know. Thoticus Prime. You know he's gonna go bankrupt, right? Ollie Fox. Yeah, but it's not bad because, like. Ollie Fox. He'll probably just try to wear them to work or something. <laughs> Ollie Fox. What's he gonna do? Kill someone with his fursuit? Snack attack. We had people running around in Speedos karate chopping each other in the neck last time. Like 12 people died. Ollie Fox. Okay, yeah, but that was last time. Ollie Fox. Furries are soft. Dylan 99. Not really. Ollie Fox. Huh? Dylan 99. You smell. Ollie Fox. Oh, what? Stage 2. Affected individuals will initiate their participation in the furry community. 
contributions to the community may be made, including the creation of a fictional anthropomorphic animal character designed to represent oneself, known as a fursona, digital and or traditional art featuring anthropomorphic animals, and forum-based role-playing games involving the aforementioned characters. Stage 2 individuals are indistinguishable from non-anomalous members of the furry fandom. It should be of note that characters created by Stage 2 individuals closely mirror that of ATF member Ollie Fox. Stage 3. Affected individuals will actively seek out internet users who openly share negative views on the furry community and introduce them to SCP-3312. The spread of SCP-3312 will increase exponentially when shared by Stage 3 individuals. Stage 3 individuals will devote the majority of their time online to ATF's website. Stage 3 individuals' involvement in the furry community will rapidly reach levels of obsession. Notable behaviors of certain Stage 3 individuals have been recorded as following. Opening of several dedicated role-playing accounts across several social media platforms. Purchase of animal costumes averaging at a cost of dollars. Introduction of individuals to SCP-3312 via forum posts. Consistent attempts to contact ATF member Ollie Fox. Attempted creation of a political party concerning the desires of members of the furry community, including the right to wear animal costumes in a formal work environment, the proposal of a national animal-themed holiday, and a continued debate between the legalization or banning of Awu. Recorded arrests following a raid on a known location for parties involving the furry community. Charges made include disturbance of the peace, possession and trafficking of drugs, vandalism, and kidnapping. Instances of cult indoctrination at local enthusiast conventions and costume events. Cult practices included sacrifice of redacted in order to, quote, become closer with end quote. Six individuals are currently hospitalized for physical and psychological treatment not pertaining directly to SCP-3312. About 60% of all known shifts into Stage 3 occurred on 925. In the days prior, several more recorded logs were uncovered. Record Log 923 The conversations within Record Log 923 are assumed to have occurred 38 days following the initial creation of SCP-3312. Thoticus Prime did you hear about that guy who started a party for furries to vote for? Ollie Fox. Oh, cool! Like a political party? Thoticus Prime. I thought that was obvious. Snack Attack. That sounds like a bad fucking time if you ask me. Snack Attack. Do me a favor and imagine Obama in a fursuit. M. Perry. No. Snack Attack. What would his persona be? Ollie Fox. A lion! Snack Attack. For real? Dylan 99. Wasn't that party the one that tried to claim furries deserve the inalienable right to wear a fursuit to work? Ollie Fox. Oh well, that's dumb. I'm sure it was just the anomalous guys. Snack attack. Please, Mr. Obama, I'm broke because the boss won't let me wear my fursuit. Oh. Ollie Fox. Aw, that sounds pretty cute. Ollie Fox. Imagine your own local cafe having furry baristas. Ollie Fox. Or like the IRS so people won't be scared of them? Ollie Fox. Actually, that might not help. M. Perry. I have a mascot phobia. Dylan 99. I really don't like the sound of that. Dylan 99. I get that you really like furries, but they just kind of weird me out. Sorry, dude. Ollie Fox. Oh, okay. Ollie Fox. Do you want to see my latest t shirt? Dylan 99. I mean, sure. Ollie Fox. This is my Gamma Blaster laser shirt. Dylan 99. That's actually pretty cool. Dylan 99. But I'm gonna stick to anime. Stage 4. Behavioral development devolves in tandem with shifting verbal communication. All recorded instances have assumed the role of a prepubescent child for the duration of the stage. Stage 4 individuals will be unable to properly attend to their own needs and require outside assistance in order to maintain sustainable decision making. Stage 4 induces a complete devotion to the furry community and, in all cases, has negatively altered relationships between the affected individuals and their finances, social interactions, employment, familial relations, and living situation. Several interviews with families of affected individuals have revealed that communication between them will cease abruptly upon advancing to Stage 4. Further interviews have revealed that individuals past Stage 4 consider the furry community to be their true family and will only maintain communication with those who encourage their behaviors. 
living conditions of stage 4 individuals have been deemed unfit for any human. Residences undergo a rapid state of dilapidation due to the individual's own unwillingness to tend to anything outside of SCP-3312, including themselves. Induced behaviors have been noted to fall in line with those of victims of severe hoarding disorders. 55% of stage 4 individuals have experienced eviction and or homelessness due to their neglect of both themselves and their place of residency. Stage 5. Affected individuals will suffer the delusion that they themselves are an anthropomorphic character and will perpetuate this delusion by any means necessary. Rejection from the non-anomalous community initiates at this stage, and affected individuals will band together. Notable behaviors of certain Stage 5 individuals have been recorded as following. Failed intercourse between a Stage 5 individual and predatory animals at the Zoo in Indiana, resulting in injuries to those present. The termination of Annabelle at factory, following a hostage situation involving employees as she proclaimed herself to be, quote, the real the leopard, end quote. Suicides by falling impact, specifically by stage five individuals identified with winged organisms. Deaths from heat-related illnesses, 96% of which occurred while affected individuals were in animal costumes. Public assault of ATF member Ollie Fox. Deaths by firearm, followed by the outlawing of animal costumes in 13 parks. The following logs were recovered following the Annabelle incident. Record log 1015. The conversations within record log 1015 are assumed to have occurred 60 days following the initial creation of SCP-3312. M. Perry. Has anyone heard from Dylan lately? Snack attack. Nah. Ollie Fox. Oh, he just showed me his persona last week. <laughs> Ollie Fox. He was excited and I think he's a red panda. Snack attack. Lol, BS. Ollie Fox. Huh? Ollie Fox. It's not BS. Here. Ollie Fox. Here's a picture right here. Ollie Fox. His name is Brownie. Snack attack. Lol, BS. Ollie Fox. No, it's not. Ollie Fox. Uh, Ollie Fox. Why don't you guys like my art? M. Perry. Ollie, we like your art. We just don't like furries. M. Perry. At all. M. Perry. Like, seriously, why do you think we let you make this site for yourself? To make other friends. M. Perry. We like you because you can make supernatural advertisements. M. Perry. All of your websites you've ever made drag people into them. M. Perry. And then those people are used up in two months. M. Perry. Staggering around as empty shells of themselves. M. Perry. Someone ate a baby last week, Ollie. M. Perry. Someone ate a goddamn baby. Ollie Fox. But I only know how to start it, not how it stops. M. Perry. You are personally responsible for that jackass eating someone's innocent human baby. M. Perry. Do you understand what you've done? M. Perry. You've literally created a race of idiot man-eaters. M. Perry. These aren't even people anymore, Ollie. They're inhuman. You're out of the group. M. Perry. Idiot vigilantes are one thing. Idiot monsters are way worse. Ollie Fox. Here, check out this banner! M. Perry. What the hell is that? Stage 6. Affected individuals will undergo a total loss of higher cognitive functions and regress to instinctual behaviors displayed by the source animal of their personal character. All signs of prior personality will be destroyed by SCP-3312. However, affected individuals will continue to possess human speech, albeit characterized by childlike pronunciations and heightened pitch. All test results have yielded that the speech uttered by affected individuals can be likened to animal vocalizations instead of processed human speech. Predatory stage 6 individuals are highly aggressive towards both affected and unaffected individuals, and kill indiscriminately. To date, no stage 6 individual has shown recognition of those whom they have shared relationships with. Record Log The conversations within Record Log are assumed to have occurred 234 days following the initial creation of SCP-3312. Record Log is the last chat room interaction between members of ATF, prior to stage 4 progression of most members. Ollie Fox. Hi, everybody! Thoticus Prime. Hi! <laughs> Snack Attack. Yay! 
M. Perry. Ugh. Ollie Fox. Aw, Perry, what's wrong? M. Perry. You're all terrible. Ollie Fox. Oh my god. Ollie Fox. Honestly, you're so dark and brooding. Ollie Fox. <laughs> Dylan 99. Wave pause at M. Perry. Ollie Fox. At Dylan99, this isn't the RP channel. Dylan99. Bleh. M. Perry. I should have left months ago. M. Perry. I hate this channel, and I hate you. M. Perry. You've made my life a living hell. M. Perry. This entire group is practically a hive mind. M. Perry. You've taken my life's work, my income, and most importantly, what little social life I had where I was able to share the things I could do. M. Perry. There's only one thing that's keeping me from killing myself at this point. Ollie Fox. Oh? M. Perry. My fursuit is in transit. M. Perry. <laughs> the following log is a video transcript of a raid carried out by Mobile Task Force Sierra 88, codename Animal Control, on the residence of Michael Perry in <laughs> Oklahoma, identified by the Foundation as ATF member M. Perry. Footage was recovered from the body cam of Sierra 88, November. Begin log. Ready to sound off. This is November, reporting to command on behalf of Mobile Task Force Sierra 88. Sierra 88 Bravo, checking in. Over. Sierra 88 Charlie, checking in. Over. We're at the derelict house on the corner of Lakeview and Charlemagne. The time is 1900 hours. I can't see any movement from the windows. There's a couple of packages here. Looks like they've gone untouched. All are addressed to Perry. November kicks into the door. It gives way with ease. Gags are audible from Bravo as they enter the house. Grime cakes the walls of the windows, dimming incoming light. Bravo and Charlie turn on their flashlights. God, it reeks. I can smell the mold in the walls. No signs of life in the living room. Proceeding to the kitchen. Can you smell that? What? Mobile Task Force Sierra 88 enters the kitchen. The counters and table are littered with discarded food and prescription pill bottles. November nudges a puddle of crushed packets of cake mix and milk with the barrel of his gun. The puddle is lifted from the table, having solidified over time. Charlie motions to a window directly across from the overflowing table. It has been smeared with an unknown substance. That's dog shit. It's been sitting here for a while. I can smell it past the rotting fridge. And they're saying someone lives in all this filth? What was the stage designation of Perry, sir? They told me four. I'm beginning to think that was a lie. Mobile Task Force Sierra 88 navigates into the hallway with caution. They are notably slowed by the piling debris as they approach what is assumed to be Perry's bedroom. November knocks heavily on the door. Hello, Mr. Perry? Are you home? Huh? hello Shit, he's in there. Mr. Perry, we're going to ask you to lay on the ground with your hands up. Do not make any sudden movements. Failure to comply can and will get you shot. Hi, friend. Come play with me. Sir, I don't think he understands. Let's hope to God he does. Mobile Task Force Sierra 88 breaks down the door and rushes into the room. The room is pitch black and the majority of the surfaces are covered in bodily fluids and mold. The remnants of Perry's computer are dangling off of the desk, now encrusted with unidentifiable substances. The mattress from Perry's bed is shredded and the bed frame splintered. Perry himself is barely visible behind piles of rotting food, soiled clothes, and destroyed furry paraphernalia. He is curled against the corner of the wall, wearing a grimy sweater and the torn threads of a costume tail. His hair is greasy and unkempt, and his eyes are bloodshot. Light from a flashlight shines onto him. He hisses and crawls to his hands and feet. Mobile Task Force Sierra 88 trained their guns onto him. Despite his circumstances, Perry wears a large grin and wide eyes. Hello? What are you doing? Put your hands in the air where we can see them! Perry crawls forward. He is now visibly shaking, but his expression has remained the same. Sir, comply or we will be forced to Please shoot you! Please help me, Mr. Police Man! Please help! What the hell? Please help me! Perry abruptly lunges at November and clings onto him. Bravo and Charlie turn and immediately open fire with tranquilizer guns on Perry. The camera lens cracks and the recording footage turns black. Perry's voice can be heard giggling distinctly among the shouting, as well as wet, squelching noises. End log. Site42 is able to continue broadcasting and move up to live-action SCP film adaptations due to the support of viewers, subscribers, and especially our patrons. 
Special shout out to our site director level patron, Andre Bechert.